So what is memory management? The objective of memory management is to discard memory that is no longer going to be used. So you have to somehow peer into the future and be able to decide, is this chunk of memory, is this data structure ever going to be used again? If it's not, then you should be able to discard it, and therefore reclaim the available memory. As you know, your computer has a finite amount of memory, so that's a concern that should be very important for programs and also for programmers. So there are two, tech, two extremes in a, in a range of possibilities. One is fully manual uh, memory management, where the programmer has explicit control over when and what to free and reclaim. So you can say, now I want to, you, the programmer has to say all the decisions. It has to decide whether a certain region of memory is ready to be reclaimed or not. Uh, could it be reused? The programmer has full control over that. that w that's what we're calling manual. We call ma automatic when the underlying programming language takes care of that for you. So in the extreme case, the programmer has no control over it. And we're going to talk a bit about this range of possibilities. So whenever you're doing memory management, you have two problems to, to concern yourself with, right? The first one is soundness. And soundness is saying that we, is basically saying if we are reclaiming memory, so we're saying this memory is not used anymore. We should only do that if that's in fact true. So that's what we mean by soundness. Soundness just means that am I doing the thing that I should be doing, aka memory management, properly? That is, am I doing any mistakes? What is a mistake? A mistake is to say this memory is no longer needed when in fact it is needed. So what is the problem of that? Well, the problem of that is um, your memory, you're saying that you don't need that memory, but now you have two regions of memory, two parts of your program writing on the same part when they assume they shouldn't be. And that creates a big uh, problem because you are undermining each of this program's components assumptions, which leads to very uh, insidious bugs, very hard to de debug. So you can have crashes and security breaches very easily with this kind of problem. On the other hand, you have what is known as completeness, which is to say, at some point, you have to be able to reclaim all unneeded data. Right? So you cannot just leave so the easiest way is this garbage collector is one that never reclaims memory, right? So by never reclaiming memory, you never do a soundness mistake, correct? You think about it. Imagine you implement a garbage collector that is very, very basic. <laughs> it never does any mistake because it never does a, a, a single thing, right? So we say that this, this um, garbage collector is sound because it's not trying to reclaim things that are still in use. But we say that it's incomplete because it never actually does anything. Right? So what you want, ideally, is we want something that is sound and complete. But as we will see, that is impossible because you would have to know what the future will bring, right? You would nev have to know for each piece of memory whether it's ever going to be needed, right? The only way to know that is in the programmer is the only person who knows that. So manually, so a programmer that doesn't do any mistakes, so never does, um, you know, a free when they shouldn't, you remember free and malloc 
via Malloc's manual memory management. So if you have a single program that performs no mistakes on freeing, right? So that would be sound. And if it doesn't forget any of the reclaimed data, that would be complete. So let's think about what are the memory managements in our next video.